Hey everybody, welcome back to more Early Mutations. I'm Hunter AFI. We are taking care of week 141. We've got Temple of Rebirth on Temple of the Past. We have got Life Leech, Just Die, and Barrier. So I am Sagara, my partner is uh, Phoenix here. And I feel pretty confident about a lot of things that are happening here. The one thing that I'm not going to be super confident about is a Zerg. Uh, swarmy comp, because as much as I love Zagara, Zerglings are kind of hell when it comes to the mutations like this. Uh, barrier, <clears throat> in and of itself, makes your Bailing Barrage almost useless. So that is a small thing we have to deal with, too. So uh, that'll be something I'll try to mitigate by, I don't know, trying to be way more active out on the field. Trying to get Zagara to start attacking sooner, all sorts of things like that. Um, but in the meantime, all I can really do is just try to see what the comp is and work from there. Got my um, Zerglings ready to pounce right onto my um, Expo as soon as I can. Go ahead and get a Bane Nest real soon. Start working on getting that. But in the meantime, it is just all about waiting to see what kind of comp we're up against. That's really all we can do. We get up to, got these guys, I'm gonna get up to 17 Zerglings, or 17 supply worth of Zerglings and um, drones. And that should be basically enough to make sure that we can get whatever we need. So we will very quickly discover what we're up against and we'll just go from there. Go in just a second. Car is gonna go there. That's gonna go there. As soon as I get this um, hatchery down, go and get another old lord. Ready our defenses. Our foes are on. Our should be out soon. See what kind of comp it is. Those look like zerglings. Ugh. Not the best. I am gonna say, not the best. All those barriers to go away. <laughs> oh my god, so much work to get that bit <laughs> done, I swear. <laughs> So A moving with your Zerglings or sorry, Banelings is not the best here. Whatever we can do to try to mitigate that kind of nonsense, the better off we're gonna be. Uh, but you know what? We'll be we'll be whatever we need to be. Zerglings out. Well, Darwin's good here, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. <laughs> Just trying to start the attacks sooner than later. That's really what I'm trying to do here. Zergling speed. But the combination of the two of us is actually working out really well. Excellent. Shall we slaughter them? They have evolved. Our allies are engaged in battle. Excellent. The temple's mechanisms are aligning properly. It will soon be ready for activation. Air hybrid. Our enemies will burn. Evolution complete. Your group has encountered 
injured the enemy. Your detestable right here. Sir, Ooh, Captain Ball. Be careful and go. We need to get every upgrade I possibly can. Your grotesque Zerg have mutated into something new. Got my Zerglings already set up to deal with the um, Thrasher as soon as it pops. It will severely harm the temple for as long as it lives. Here. Guys that way, then come back. So right now we do have to deal with the fact that we are gonna deal with a attack wave coming from one side. Isn't it just fun? Urge or overlords. Your grotesque Zerg have mutated into something new. We have slain a void thrasher. I'm just gonna get it started. Got it. We have two more Zenith stones to address. Alright, so now I can really focus on just my side, and my partner can focus on his side. Really not much else I can do at the moment. Really not much else. Hybrid detected. Not even the hybrid can withstand our might. The earlier I can get started on these things, the better. Our allies are engaged in battle. I really just want Zerglings here to start clearing out all this stuff. I really need a lot of Scourge, too. That's good. We are ready to kill. The enemy will fear my blades. The hybrid threaten us. We shall cut through these vile hybrids. A worst comp <laughs> ever for both of us. <laughs> I'm telling you, just a bad, bad comp. <laughs> oh, so bad. I, I am never going to find myself with a lot of stuff. I'm just, I'm just not going to happen. Mass frenzy is now ready. Keep losing overseers over and over again. It's just going to keep happening over and over again. to 
So, <clears throat> what I'm hoping to happen here is that we... I carry the early game and my partner can carry the late game. That's what I'm really hoping to have happen here. Because ultimately, I, I can't carry the late game. I can't. There's just no way in hell that I'm going to be able to do almost anything against the late game. So, what I'm really hoping is, like I said, I can get us through the mid game here. And then eventually my partner can get us through the late game. That's just, that's it. That's all I can really hope for. Somehow the enemy got an attack on the temple, but whatever. This is the benefit of not using F2A move. Also, the kind of hard part about <coughs> using F2A move. So we're going to be really close to finishing this. Close and then frenzy. Okay. Rest of my stuff has got to go here. Now, now I'm on my way here. He's going to head down. See, honestly, it makes very little sense for me. The skies are mine. He anywhere else? Because <clears throat> he will actually be able to defend over there and actually maybe be able to do some real work. Or I, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Your brood has encountered the enemy. Hybrid energy signature detected. I fear no hybrid. A void thrasher has been annihilated. Our allies are engaged in battle. Your brood has encountered the enemy. No, 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 no! 
can't lose Zagara. Losing Zagara would be very, very bad news. Uh, so thankfully, I guess thankfully, there was an air hybrid. So now we just have to deal with this double attack wave. Not a triple, but... <laughs> like I said, my late game is is horrible because it's Zagara against Just Die. It's not nothing really is gonna happen here. <clears throat> I'm really just hoping is that these guys can at least kill this Thrasher and I'll <laughs> at least have done my part. <sighs> like I said, late game, all Phoenix. Mid game, mostly me. <laughs> So, <coughs> if, if we can manage this, I'm going to feel really good, because again, worst comp ever. Holy Hannah, man. This is. This was intense. <laughs> My late game is so bad. <laughs> Holy Hannah. Alright, so, like I said, early game, mid game, were mine to, to just make happen. Late game. I, 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 I didn't know what to do. There's nothing you can do. Especially if it's against comp like that. So, <clears throat> I was able to hold my side. Uh, but man, it, it got a little crazy there. Um, so, yeah, I don't really think there's too much else to say here. Um, engaging early is really important. Um, <clears throat> if, let's, 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 let's talk for a second. Let's talk for a second, y'all. Let's, let's talk. What are you doing? Let's talk. So, here we go. Um, let's say you've got an attack wave coming in from here, and you've got a bunch of zerglings here, and you're just moving in, and you're just A moving. Uh, when you hit them, you're basically only going to be hitting this front piece here. If you then instead move past them, and then you have all of them surrounded, you're going to get way more use out of your banelings. So that first attack wave, when I... Um, ended up, you know, coming in from the side. I had like four banelings, right? This is the ramp. Zerglings came in, and if I just A moved in, this big swarm of Zerglings, I would have hit this, and that would have been it. Now, if I were to go, again, move past, I have a chance to hit every single unit. So that is very important when dealing with this. Now, the problem then becomes when you're dealing with <coughs> Blinding Cloud. Uh, or disabling cloud in this case. Uh, Viper's gonna cast it, right? Um, there's really little you can do <coughs> except for your banelings. Banelings can do a lot of work there. Um, what you're gonna do actually is just 
not try to move past them. What you're going to do is you take every one of these units and patrol move them through. Patrol is the only thing that allows you to move, to basically attack move through a blinding cloud. For some reason, because blinding cloud disables attack and abilities your units just sit there if you a move but if you patrol move they'll try to move past and as soon as they can attack they will that's useful for everything including circle including every other race so make sure whenever a blinding cloud gets cast and you find yourself oh man a move's not working grab all your units select them all and then patrol move if you patrol move through they'll actually continue to attack or try to move to that area and then attack it's very useful especially when dealing with blinding cloud Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Hunter AFI. Do hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button.